Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. In this video, we are going to look about combined correction. We know that the earth is not flat. The earth has a curvature. So whenever we take a reading from a leveling instrument, our earth is going to be like this. Our reading stuff is going to be like this. And our reading will be somewhere here. But the original reading has to be this. So there will be some uh, corrections we have to undertake because of the curvature of the earth. So that is what we call the curvature correction. It is 0 0.07857 d square. This is a negative correction because our answer which we have got here is greater than the original answer. So this is a negative correction. And next uh, correction due to refraction. We already know that whenever refraction happens, the answer that we get uh, tends to be lesser than the original answer. So the correction has to be positive. So now we have correction for curvature and correction for refraction. And next comes combined correction. Combined correction is where we add both the corrections and since they both have different signs, we will find the difference and the answer is given here. This is a very important formula. Try to keep this in mind. So now we know the answer or the formula for combined correction. How can we use it? What are the applications of combined correction? Say case 1. You are traveling in a ship or boat and say you are in the middle of the ocean. So all, all that you see is the sea, the horizon. Have you ever wondered what is the distance between you and the point of horizon? It always keeps uh, moving away and away. Whenever you come closer, it keeps moving. Have you ever wondered what is the distance between that point and you? So if you have wondered, now comes the answer that uh, from this uh, combined correction formula, we can find the distance and something which I forgot to say here is uh, the D is always in kilometers and C is always in meters. You have to substitute in that uh, units only. So now uh, I know my height, say my height is uh, uh, 170, I'm not 170 by the way, my height is 170 centimeters and that means 1.7 meters and the height of the deck of the ship because you will not be standing on, on the water there will be some height of deck also say it is uh, 3 meters so the total height is going to be uh, this plus this which gives me 4.7 meters say my uh, C value is 4.7 meters so the distance which I will see uh, from my uh, point till the horizon is 8.35 kilometers so a person of 1.7 meters standing on a 3 meter deck can always look to about 8.35 kilometers and the next one is case 2 say all you are seeing is just the horizon forget about this all you are seeing is just the horizon and now you start to see the top of the lighthouse you have just started to see the top of the lighthouse and now you know your height. Say this is say your height is uh, the height from the deck of the ship is five meters. And uh, you know the uh, you have googled and found out the height of this uh, uh, lighthouse. Say this lighthouse is around twenty five meters. So now you can find the distance between you and the lighthouse using this formula. It is equal d is equal to d1 plus d2 where d1 is distance between you and the horizon and d2 is the distance between horizon and the lighthouse. So on doing so you, we will get the answer of 27.88 kilometers. So this will be the distance between me and the lighthouse. I hope you found this video useful. If you did please like share and subscribe. I see you guys in the next video. Bye.